Down she goes. Yeah, I'm not ready to quit quite yet. Alright, game world. Do I nuke it or do I change the size? Could be we just got unlucky. Let's reset it and think about if I want to change Roller Girl setup any. Roller Girl a second. All right, do I want to change anything? I thought the Dodge 3, Melee 3, Unarmed Combat 3 was going to be a little more helpful, but I just could not even damage the low-level stuff. Even the Shade Zombies early game were kicking my ass in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Part of that is due to my stats being constantly low. We picked up that cold early, which we had a cold to like the first week of gameplay. So that didn't help. Between that and the uh, hallucinations, schizophrenia, and all the other negatives, our stats were at like 4 and 3 quite a bit. So that was a big part of the problem. But uh, I don't know. I'm not sure... Oh yeah, true. The claws would be awesome if I was able to use the claws. I just can't deploy them and leave them out constantly. Well, I guess technically I could. I just wouldn't be able to pick things up like when I needed to pick up a... Uh... I wonder if you have to pay energy to retract the claws, because that would suck if I needed to grab like a gallon jug in my hand to carry it or uh, something else. Hmm, I'll think about that. I might try deploying the claws right away and leaving them out. I think they're by far going to be the best weapon that I've got access to early for melee, so maybe it'll be worth it. Um, and I did have enough food. I could have been using my metabolism to uh, get me some food or get me some energy to uh, turn them off and on. So I might try that. Um, you can see the only skills I purchased were electronics, first aid, and mechanics, one point each. That's just to help with the success chance of the bionic removal, mainly. I mean, they're good to have anyway, but uh, that was the primary reason. I don't know of anything else I'd really want to modify. I think I need the fast healer to compensate for the constant health drain. Bay eyes and light step. Light step actually was really useful because I want to do a lot of night raids. Night vision, of course. I need robust genetics. So yeah, I just don't think there's much I'm going to change. I think I'm just going to give it another go with what I started with, or what I had. Alright, in we go, Roller Girl 2. Out in the middle of the forest again! I totally forgot that's where this stupid start puts me. <laughs> oh, I'm not enjoying this map! No sure. Two military bunkers and a ranch or farm. And <laughs> that's it. With one road. <laughs> what a useless map. I may nuke this one just for cause. I don't think this is survivable. <laughs> uh, unbelievable. Two bunkers and a ranch. <laughs> yeah, that's that's an awful awful map. I'll I'll play it straight up for the for the start. I'll run down the road at least on my rollerblade, see if this road hooks around and connects to the ranch, and maybe we'll see something. But this is pretty much a death sentence start for this character. One road, and I have to travel on roads to have a chance of staying alive, and uh, no cities of any kind. Well, let's check our NPC. Hey there, NPC. Frozen Foxy. Oh yeah, take off the stupid noise canceling gear. Hey there, Frozen. Oh, Frozen's got an infection. Sure, I'll get you some antibiotics. Don't count on it. Um, not a problem. Want to travel with me? Oh yeah, they won't do it till I get them the antibiotics. So we're screwed on that side. Trade lighter and calcium, and I can't even afford the lighter. 
So, do we murder the NPC? I don't think I'm going to murder the NPC. You're a useless NPC, but I'm not going to murder you. What do you got anyway? Jeans, leather gloves, lab coat, ooh, leather backpack. Maybe you are murderizable. Let's um, bring out the bionic claws. So that, yeah, it took 100 power to do the bionic claws. I'm afraid to try to turn them off again. Because I won't be able to turn them back on if I, <laughs> if I do. So let's leave the bionic claws out. And I'm going to try to murderize this person. Not sure. Let's get off the bush first. <clears throat> 35 damage with a critical hit. That's a pretty good number. 18 damage crit. Yeah, these claws are super awesome compared to the other stuff I was trying to do. And fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight swings before Fire Frozen Foxy got to try to swing at me. That was about four or five that time. Come on, Frozen. You ought to be getting pretty close here. That's an awful lot of damage you're taking. No, don't destroy stuff! <laughs> Alright, mission failed! I'm sad my mission has failed. Ugh. Alright, um, where? Backpack? Oh, I did damage to the backpack. Where are the gloves? Where are the glasses for now? Don't need the sneakers. Where are the jeans? They had noise canceling headgear too. Cough syrup, calcium tablets, lighter, dust mask. Okay, well, that's a little better start for us. We've got fire, we've got the dust mask, not too important. Got the backpack, got some cough syrup, some calcium tabs, and layered up on some more clothing. Alright, so, guess we head down to the road. <laughs> the fungal wall approaching. Yeah, let's stop approaching, or let's stop foraging. I wonder what's going on here. <laughs> Giant cellar spider, horse, fungal wall, giant wolf spider, gigantic naked mole rat, bobcat, and triffid sprig. <laughs> uh, oh, that's right. I'm not wearing rollerblades. I gotta fix that. I gotta summon the rollerblades. <laughs> I totally forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me. I do have to ro or, uh, summon it in. Uh, what difference does this make? Is one fitted or not fitted? Oh, skates versus blades. I want the blades. All right. Uh, where? Actually, I think I gotta take off shoes first. Foot wraps, foot rags. Eh. It's fine. Where are the rollerblades? Okay. Thanks for reminding me. So yeah, now we're a roller girl again. 175 movement to uh, 75 movement. Okay, we've got bunkers to the left of us. We've got bunkers to the right of us. Let's have a calcium tablet. Let's get an early start on our bone growth. <laughs> Minefield. That's funny, right along the road next to the bunker. Hey there, coyotes. You don't want none of this. Oh, vehicle. Please tell me it's a working vehicle. Give me some love. No wheels. Not a working vehicle. Ten liters of gas and a battery. Everything else about it's awesome. It only had tires. Got one. It's missing the other three. What's in back? Jack. A Remington with ammo. <laughs> Cataclysm giveth, cataclysm taketh away. Alright, so, 
quite the interesting start. Map totally, totally sucks. But we've got a backpack, a lighter, and a Remington shotgun right off the bar, right off the start. All right, do I... How am I going to do this? I can't do anything with the bunkers. They could shelter me from the cold is about the only thing I could do there in the little shack. Um, again, time is not on my side, so let's just keep moving. Another minefield. Jeez, he's getting pretty serious, and I'm actually going to have to go around. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Guess I'm going to go around this way on the ground. Ooh, there's a moose in the area. All right, so now I have to make a decision. South along the road or cut west across through that ranch area, and I know there's going to be a building. I'm not sure if it's going to be... This is the ranch that has the pond, if I remember right. So there'll be a really nice house, a building right here, and there has to be a road connecting to it. I just don't know if it's a totally separate road from whatever this is or what. So I'm really thinking of possibly doing a run over here because that would give me, it's almost always empty, and it would give me a good chance of uh, the early survival stuff. Getting a pot, food, clothing, tools in the uh, shed. I think I'm going to risk it. I think I'm going to risk going overland in the rollerblades to try to get to the ranch. I've got the Remington and I've got the blades if a moose or wolves come after me. Yeah, I'm going to risk it. I don't like this map anyway, so there you go. Did see the wolf north of me. Where? Oh, here's hello. here comes Mr. Moose. Hello, Mr. Moose. I don't want to tangle with a moose right now. Great food source, but not right now. Where are the wolves? Wolves are no longer in sight. Weasels and squirrels I'm happy to see. No wolves. Or bears. Making pretty good progress so far. How are we doing? Go north a little further. And then cut across here. There's the fence line. Once I get into the field, it should be pretty clear. It's not usually too many things out in the field of the ranch. All right, give me the pony sticks. Oh, eggs. Yes, grab the eggs. Canola seeds. I can make canola oil. Alright. So. Yep. Ranch. There's the garage. There's the barn. And there is a road connecting going somewhere. It doesn't look like it actually connects to the road I was about to head down. <laughs> Bionic shorted out. There's the gate. Found a heavy stick. All right, I'm gonna have to break through the gate initially, or through the fence, I mean. All nice and blocked up. We're in, and there's, like I said, I've never seen zombies inside this place. A hoodie, we'll wear a hoodie. Anything in the closet? Just a cowboy hat. Anything in the bathroom? No love in the bathroom. All right, let's go check. Ooh, first aid book. Big book of first aid. Rope. Uh, that's the foot crank. Oh, we got a large fire extinguisher. Ah, I don't have the tools yet. I need a tool to take it apart. <laughs> what else we got? Some ketchup, syrup, and some corn cereal. All right, well, we didn't get a pot, and that's unfortunate, but we got enough... Got up some other pretty good items. All 
all to this direction. Um, put it all oops, up here. No. Put it all here. Alright. So, not bad. Not much in the way of foods and juice, but at least we got a bottle and a bottle. And if I can get the fire extinguisher apart, that'll get us the steel jerry can, so water won't be a problem. And it also has the rubber hose, so we can siphon. Oh yeah, I'm not done looking around. I got uh, the workshop, the uh, barn, and the little outbuilding workbench here. Soldering iron. All right, let's go check. Let's drop off all this random stuff. Just drop pretty much everything. <laughs> all right, keep the Remington. All right, what you got in the workshop? Anything useful? Floodlights and rubber hose. Again, stuff I can take apart, but not immediately useful. I was hoping for some tools. Duct tape. And yet another floodlight. How are you doing? Heavy Reaper tractor. No gas. Controls are there. Seats there. No security. It's got... I don't think I could even get this thing out of here. And... They won't even tell me what this thing looks like because my morale is low. Okay, that's a new one. <laughs> I can't even find out what the fault is because my morale is too low. That's hilarious. I killed an innocent. Yes, yes I did. I are bad. Alright, let's go check the... Um... You gonna give me at least a pitchfork? Scythe. Don't care about the scythe. A bucket. Five liters. Reapers. Again, things I can take apart for lots of good material. Pipes, sheet metal, steel frames, a wheel, but not immediately useful. That's it, really? Alright. Well, I'm not too impressed with the barn area. I've got the workshop as my last chance. Shovels and a weed trimmer. <laughs> Ugh! Again, good for components, bad for anything else. Oh yeah, I can't pick it up in my hands because of my claws. And I'm at max carry capacity currently. Alright, we'll come back out and grab this stuff. Okay, what's, what's with this? <laughs> Seems a little odd. Um, yeah, look at that road. Rolls out like so. So definitely doesn't connect to that other one, so now I'm going to have more decisions to make. I can survive around here for a little bit, but it's not going to... God damn it. I keep forgetting I'm full. Not going to solve my bionics problem. Um, let's get some more raw materials while we're here. How many do we get? Four chunks of steel, three pipes, and three scrap. I wonder if you can damage your... Uh, I 
Uh, I wonder if you could damage your bionic claws. That'd be kind of interesting. Can I reinforce my bionic claws? Never tried. Alright, so the real question is how long am I going to spend here? Because I can't live here indefinitely. But it's going to give me a nice quiet place to do some initial crafting and skilling up, so I might take advantage of that opportunity. The lack of tools is going to be the biggest problem. Alright, so uh, let's make one more trip out there. Alright, so I got some metal. I can break stuff apart in the kitchen and the house for the wood products. hard to uh, use bionic claws to break through tables. Fine, don't do that. Good enough for the moment. Will it let me disassemble anything? Can't see the craft. Oops. I can take apart the floodlights, can I? 15 minutes per floodlight. I don't need any of that stuff right at this moment. What I wanted to take apart was the fire extinguisher and the hedge trimmer. Can't do either of those without other tools, screw driving, bolt turning, metal sawing, cutting, cutting I can do. The others are pretty much out of my out of my reach. All right, so what can we get done with what we have here? And what do I have to eat? A couple of vegetables. Uh, I have no cooking skill, I don't think yet. Cooking zero. So how am I going to do this? Uh, it's about noon. I'm actually thinking of uh, running along that road before I really do anything. Because if there's no town nearby, I'm dead anyway. There's no point to any of this. Go ahead and make the crowbar. Picks. Nothing to cook because I got nothing to cook in. So it's useless lighting the fire. Yeah, this is kind of rough. I didn't get the right combination of things to really make a go of it here.
I think I'm just going to have to grab the uh, things that are critical and run. I don't see it being a benefit to sticking around here for any amount of time. Had I found some more useful things, I could make a go of it, but I don't have cooking tools. I don't have tools to disassemble things with. I could try to craft grind up a few things, but I just don't think it's going to be all that useful. So, if we grab duct tape, rubber hose, long rope, book, cough syrup, bothering iron, eggs, cornmeal, fruit juice, and we're getting pretty close to max already. I really want to take the fire extinguisher with me, but I no way I'm going to be able to carry it. I think I'm going to have to settle for that. space to take a shovel with me. Take the seeds, they don't weigh much. I can get more of all of this stuff anywhere. So, I think we're just going to take off. I had high hopes for spending some time in the ranch as a nice safe spot, but it's just not going to work. Uh, so, off we go. Let's just turn on safe mode and fast walk our fast roller blade down the road. Zombie soldier! Where's the zombie soldier? Hello, multiple zombie soldiers. There's definitely a zombie uh, body site down that way, but I can't afford to try to go get it. Can I see a single body down there? Somewhere back in these trees, but I can't quite see it. Um, I would love to get some soldier gear and weapons this early, but dogs and the Gracken are going to keep the soldier busy. Ay, ay, ay. No, I can't. I can't take the risk. <laughs> Game hates me. Game hates me so much. Uh, of course. <laughs> oh, I just got doubly screwed. Well, at least there's a town nearby, but take a look at this. My good buddy, the acid ants, are hanging out in the ranch area here. There's an acid soldier ant right there, the worst kind. And then we've got a roadblock with turrets. <laughs> uh, of course we do. The only good news is we've got the sight on a town over here, but I gotta get around this uh, turret without getting shot and without getting attacked by something else while I'm in terrible terrain. Not sure what they're... What are you shooting at, turret? Oh, you're shooting at the acid ants.
And of course that's going to make a lot of noise and draw zombies towards me, which I don't want. Now he's shooting a Rottweiler. It'd be pretty awesome if they ran out of bullets. Trying to decide, do I aim for the sidewalk here or do I go around the back side of the bank and try to get to that street? I think that's probably the wiser move. I'd love to come investigate that. If we stay in the area long enough, those turrets might uh, draw enough towards them that they'll run out of, run out of bullets. Um, bank is not going to have anything useful to me right now. Peak, nothing. Peak, nothing. Really? Well, that's pretty handy. Can I get into that house without getting any attention? Um, sound is going to get dampened because of the storm. I do have a crowbar and a lockpick though. Skeleton dies. Alright, good. Alright, we're in a house. Very hungry and thirsty. What you got for me? Noodles. Hydrogen peroxide, that'll take. Waffle iron and coffee syrup. Um, and nothing else, damn it. Let's take a look at the rest of the house real quick. Where's my bionic basement game? Some ammo. Is this just a sitting room? I don't want a second hoodie, thanks. Alright, well we got the house closed up. We got 50 rounds of 9 mil. No basement. Nothing useful in the kitchen. But at least we've got some kind of a retreat point. Small town though. Ooh, garage could be useful. House. Liquor store. House. Ooh, a dojo. And a clothing store. We might get something useful out of it. I got to take care of my hunger and thirst, though. And I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Um, I still don't have anything to cook in. I guess we're going to have some corn seal. A whole lot of it. At least take the edge off. And then have some fruit juice. Uh, much as I don't want to go out, I am going to have to keep looking around. It's got wheels, it's got a security system though. Tiny bit of gas, battery. No wheels. A Reaper? Blades, wheels, and a small lever for engaging, disengaging, use cut down crops. So, not useful for me. Potato chips. <laughs> Another roadblock. <laughs> um, but I think that's what just blew up. Something managed to kill the turret on this end of the roadblock. So, Smith & Wesson. Magazine. A baton over there. Ukulele. Flashlight. Pliers. Clothes. Mmm, MRE, that would be good. Let's work our way around this way, see if we can get into the garage without... Skeletal Juggernaut. Of course there's a Skeletal Juggernaut. I guess we know what took out the turret. <laughs> skeletal Juggernaut, right there. 
So my hope is he smashes his way through the vehicle, kills the next turret, then goes out and deals with those other two turrets, and then just wanders off. <laughs> that would be awesome. Now I'm worried about opening this thing up. Um, they haven't spotted me because the heavy rain. Is the noise going to carry that far? I guess we're going to find out. Jerry can... Tools would be good. No tools on the shelf. Nothing in the crates. Love the jerry can. Can't carry it. Any clothes? A little bit. Welding goggles. Um... And more welding goggles. Work gloves. 20 encumbrance. Nope. So, welding goggles, good. Jerry can, good. Everything else, bad. Skeletal juggernaut, are you wandering your way off to the other turrets like I asked? Sure would be nice. Road roller. Yeah, skeletal juggernaut. Yep, he's over there going to take out that other turret. And I get stuff before he realizes I'm back here. The heck? Is that turret moving? <laughs> I'm a little fuzzy with the heavy storm going on, just how far these guys can see. Don't care about that. Ukulele. I would love a musical instrument, but it's not critical at this point. Damn it, none of this stuff has useful stuff. Cash card, nothing else useful. Cash card, nothing else useful. I think I'm just going to scoop my way up here, grab the couple of things I think I might be able to need or use, and then keep running or moving if possible. I don't have that much space. Oh, it's got ammo. And I'm running out of space. What can I drop? Ah, oh, crap. I don't want to drop any of this stuff. Um, sort by volume, please. Long rope, crowbar, books, of course. Crap. This is the hard choice here. I gotta drop something. I need that MRE. A lot of food available through that MRE. I think I'm gonna drop Ham Radio Illustrated. And... Potato chips probably don't take up much. I think gonna drop on the crowbar. Uh, yeah, that's a good suggestion. Cursed. I think I can wear the rope. I don't have a strap on the Remington, or I could throw that over my shoulder. All right. I want the MRE cash card, and that is 0.5. That'll give me a 13. Give me one and a half. Go ahead and grab it while I'm here. I want the pliers. No ammo for the gun. I do want the flashlight. Anything spotted me? I swear, I think I think they're punching the uh, turret further and further away. <laughs> I think that thing's hitting the turret and moving it. 
which I find hilarious. Alright. Either or had this. New character, unfortunately. We lost the first one. New map, new character. Alright, so this place is done. That place had the goggles and the jerry can. I'm not going to try to get into the clothing store. I'd like to get into the dojo and that house and this house. So I think I'm going to go dojo, house, liquor store, house, and then take off. Well, I might have to actually pull up. Yeah, it's still fairly early in the day. Anything up here? Mm, cargo pants, but no. Let's go see if we can get a better martial skill than we did last time. I was not impressed with... Ah, hello, zombie. I was not impressed with the uh, Tai Chi book we got last time. Anything? No book. Damn it. Um, no. That's the one I want. The judo gi. Oh, uh, yeah, the judo gi is the one I want. 95% coverage on torso, arms, and legs for 3 3 for only 10 encumbrance. That is awesome. So at least we got the judo gi. What else is here? Ooh, ah, karate gi that fits. I want a judo, judo gi that fits, is what I want. A <laughs> protective mouthpiece. No thanks. Come on in. Come on. All right. I'm kind of disappointed we didn't get a. Uh, martial arts book. Well, there goes the other turret, so the skeletal juggernaut is now loose. Do we go in the bus and grab candy? <laughs> uh, I'll leave the other ones. Alright, so I want to go up here next. I'm really amazed at the lack of zombies in this town so far. MP3 player would be good. Unload that for the batteries. Great drink. We'll just drink right now. Not gotten much in the way of love from the houses, though. That's pretty much it. Hmm. Well, don't quite have enough for that as is. And what else we got? Fresh apricot. Let's just eat this all up. Heat the apricot, heat the fish, eat the fish. All completely empty. Macaroni, I don't care. I think I'm going to drop a bottle of ketchup. Alright, another lighter, a bunch of different bottles. Grab that. What else is in here? Orange juice and a bunch of alcohol and a peanut butter sandwich. Can I grab that? 78. Alright, leaving the magazine behind, taking the bullets. 
I think we're all set to take off again. I'm a little hesitant to do it this close to what I think might be nightfall. I got one more building to check out, actually. Um, let's call that done, that done, and that done. Spore cloud, great. There's fungus nearby. Because, of course, there is. Zombie soldier, fungaloid, fungal spores, bunch of dead bodies. See an ambulance down there. No wheels. Hello, fungaloid. I am heading right into Fungus Central. That means that there's now going to be uh, a bionic basement right here, directly next to the fungus. Frying pan! Alright, frying pan I actually need. I'm going to have to make a hard choice here. Um... What can I leave to grab the frying pan? Box of cereal. Yeah, that's one. Noodles. Is that enough? That is enough. All right. And again, no love. Alright, house sucks. We are out of here and hopefully we can get out before we get any fungal infections. Nothing in the ambulance because of course there isn't. Older zombie trying to fight a rat. Alright, we're out of here, and we're probably walking right into a fungal bloom or something, but I can't do much about that. I got nowhere to safely spend the night, and I'm traveling through fungus territory, with the sun going down. A cave? Well, I'm a wee shelter! Oh boy, that might actually help. If it wasn't so close to fungus, I'd be a lot happier. All right, I got to off-road to that thing, despite the fungus danger. Okay, we are in the shelter. Let's take a look around. Rubble, rubble, rubble. Um, yeah. What you got? Cat food. Chicken and dumplings, and that's it in the pantry. Jeez. Give me some tools, please. Spray can. Alright, I got a flashlight. Let's turn this flashlight on. So, there is some food here. Hunting knife. Got no capacity to carry anything. Hammer is not quite the tool I was hoping for. Nothing but ammo. Alright, wasn't quite the uh, big benefit I was hoping for. So, hunting knife would be good. Hammer has its uses, but I can easily make one, so I'm not too concerned about that. Hunting knife, I think, is really the only thing I care about. Back to the what could I possibly drop game. Hunting knife is 0.25 liters, and I've got 0.14, so I don't need to drop much. Drop the extra lighter, and MP3 player. 
Let's get rid of the two lighters. Is that enough? Not quite. Let's drink our fruit juice and then we will dump that bubble. Alright, got the knife, leave that. Don't care here. I'm full, so I would love to take the chicken and dumplings. Four portions of good food. Oh, okay, I can take it actually. Alright, we're out of here. Yeah, this is not going to be good. We're going to get caught at night, out on the road, <laughs> in a fungus area. And we're going to go schizophrenic, pass out, and just get mobbed by fungus. So I haven't seen the fungal tower or bloom. Safe mode on. That heavy duty cables, jumper cables. Hello, cougar. Stay away from me. Minefield. <laughs> minefield on top of a minefield. Oops. Zombie child. Oh, another building. We're coming up on another town. A lot of zombie indicators. Now the trouble is going to be getting into a building, getting safe before night. Actually, it might be better if I just hang out here until night. Vassal borrow. Can't see enough yet. Let's get a little closer. Alright, shady zombie in range. <coughs> oh, crowd of shady zombies up there. I can all see me. Why can you all see me? Not sure why they can all see me. I guess it's counting it as dark enough <laughs> with the uh, rain that they've got eyeballs on me for some reason. Um, <clears throat> the garage it's looking like another tiny town, though. Really weirdly spaced out, and a lot of zombie indicators. Well, if they can see me. I can't do much about it, so just gonna stay on the road here and keep moving. Hope there's no shockers in this town waiting for me. One, two, three, four houses, a hardware store, and a garage. And then it's looking like it dead ends in every direction except for that north spur. Wonder if I can be fast enough to check these houses out and then run. I hate not having a place to sleep, especially when I know there's fungus nearby. I think I'm going to smash into this house I'm next to. Run mode. <laughs> and of course there's zombies inside as well as outside. Don't care. Bedroom, not so interested in. Kitchen. God, I can't carry a damn thing, so I'm not sure if I need to look in the kitchen or not. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Drop. Frying pan. Grab pot. Oh, it's too much. How much have I got? 1336 out of 1450, so I got 1.14 and I need. Oof, I need two. Ouch. Damn it. Cheese fries and toastums. I'm going to have to leave cheese fries and toastums. Uh, have some cheese fries while we're here. Anything else I can afford to drop? 
really want to keep all that. Oh, I've still got the flashlight going. That's probably why things can see me. <laughs> I'm sure that didn't help any at least. Um, I'm going to get rid of the MP3 player. And the maple syrup. Alright, so got the pots. Not going to worry about the rest of this stuff. Keep moving. Alright, not seeing any signs of a um, basement. So this one's done. I guess my plan is to go across. So I'm going to check each of these houses. And then, I guess, run north. <laughs> Ugh, it's going to be bad all the way around. Step down a space, you stupid zombie. Fine, I'll go out the window. Whoops. Guess I didn't need to uh, smash that. Operating bus? No gas. Operating car? No controls. And got a security system. Motorcycle? Got a security system and no wheels. Next house. Stop running. What do I see? Sandals, nothing else useful. Not there. Can't think of well, much else I would need from kitchens right now. I've got the pot. That's the biggest thing I wanted to make sure I had. Bedroom. Bathroom. A monocle. And of course there's a gallon jug of ammonia. More cough syrup. <laughs> and I can't even carry multivitamins. Well, let's have a multivitamin while we're here. Um, I think this house is done as well. Hey there, Kaliska. Anytime you're watching one of my Cataclysm live streams, uh, you can use commands in the chat. If you use exclamation point challenge, mod list, and settings, that'll pretty much get you up to date on everything that I'm doing. <clears throat> All right, so this house is pretty useless as well. Uh, do I go out the back window and try to get into this house, or do I go out the front? I think I'm going to go out the back window. Oh, this is more like it. Antibiotics. Don't care about the caffeine pill. We got antibiotics. I guess I'll grab those while I'm here. Nothing hiding in the bathtub. I think I might have gotten in this building undetected. Um, debating whether it might be worth trying to hang out here. Uh, wristwatch would be good. Crafty crafters would be good, but I can't afford to carry it. Cargo pants. Go and throw those on. Can I get the windows closed? Boxer briefs, tobacco, kimono. Sardines and rhubarb. Oh, okay, this is definitely the building that I would like to hole up in for the night. If I did get in here quietly, without attracting anything, I want to spend the night here and then take off in the morning. It's way too close to dark. Let's see if I can get that... Uh... Eh, I really don't want to step out into the lit area and attract zombies into the building after me. They're off to the east, so let's hope that uh, stays that way. Grab the wristwatch.
Ah, somebody's coming. Exactly what I wanted to avoid. I think I'm going to hide on this side of the building. If anything comes after me, I've got enough room. Uh, it'd be ideal if I could bash out a few pieces of shelving. I've got enough room to get around most things. Something just killed a zombie nearby. Hmm, that's interesting. I'm not sure what might have been able to do that. Ah. Damn it. Look at this, they're coming from every direction for no reason all of a sudden. Yeah, so exactly how do you know I'm in here, tough zombie? <laughs> you were outside, you did not spot me. The scent trail wouldn't have gone out there. So exactly how are you deciding to come in here after me? Crap. I'm going to have to fight this guy. And anything, the noise, I got somebody else coming from another direction. Did you just randomly decide to break the window and then went the other direction? I'm worried about something coming through the windows here. <laughs> uh, smell's the only thing that would account for it, but it's not, there was no trail he was following. I'd never been to that end of the, uh, I went down to that side of the building just to close the windows, but there was nothing down there when I did it, so the scent shouldn't have billowed outside the building and into the street and brought him over, so I'm not sure how he managed to come over that way. I don't think he had a direct line on me, because he didn't come through the window he smashed. He wandered off to another direction. I'm just going to stay here in this middle section. Well, never mind. <laughs> Thought I had a spot. Thought I had a spot. Now I have to make a serious decision. I could stick my body in the pantry, in the doorway, and just start trying to kill this stuff. I've got antibiotics for any bites if I survive the damage, so I would just unlimber myself of all this extra encumbrance and then just use my claws to wail away at these zombies. I really need to, to stay in a space for the night. Especially since I haven't identified where the fungal stuff is at. I really don't want to go wandering around in the dark, even with my night vision and my rollerblades, not being able to see at a better distance where the fungal stuff's at. I don't think I'm going to find a better opportunity. So far I haven't seen anything scary dangerous. The worry is while fighting these the noise might attract things that are scary dangerous and I'll be stuck in the pantry here. Um, what's my encumbrance at? Yeah, lots and lots of encumbrance. Alright, before they get to me, drop. crap. I either run right now encumbered or I s drop a whole bunch of stuff and fight it to the death basically. No traits info. Here's the trait screen while I think about this. Because of the arrangement with the pantry I can make the fight one-on-one -on -one every time. I've got the claws. I think I'll be able to take out the low-level zombies. I've got hydrogen peroxide for the bites and antibiotics if I do get an infection. If I don't take care of the bite. So it all comes down to rolling the dice on what else is in the area and can I kill everything here? and then stay the night. I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna try staying here. 
I don't think I can afford to keep running in the dark. It's not going to improve my situation. I'm just going to end up at another town that I haven't cleared. Um, possibly I could get to a car I could uh, sleep in uh, somewhere in the middle of the road, but um, this has already started out as a really, really bad map for this particular challenge <laughs> and character. So I think I'm just going to fight it out right here. One way or the other, we're going to uh, get things done right here. So we're going to drop the backpack. That's going to dump a lot of random items all on its own. We're going to drop the rope, the extra cargo pants. Let's see how that does. Now we're down to 22 torso, still got 30 on our legs and 22 on our arms. Drop. Drop the scarf. Where is all the arm encumbrance coming from? The hoodie and the gi. Hoodie's not going to provide hardly anything in the way of protection, so I'm going to drop it as well. I need to get down to serious fighting trim. Alright, so we're now at 10 torso, 10 arms, 5 hands. That's some pretty good fighting numbers. So I think with the claws, this is where I'm going to make my stand. Pretty light on protection, so it's going to suck. I'm going to take hits. I'm just going to have to deal with it. Anything I can eat? Caffeine pills. Take some caffeine. Anything else? I don't even have any aspirin yet. Alright. Interesting, they haven't come right at me, so they're kind of wandering around breaking up everything. <laughs> but they actually haven't seen me here. So I guess I'm going to step here. As soon as I see somebody. I'll step to the right. There we go. Of course my torso encumbrance of 10 causes me to go off balance. <laughs> what up with that? 10 encumbrance! Thrown off balance. And of course the kid hits me. I clobbered her for 34 though. Down goes the child zombie. And she brought me some cookies. Step back over. Feels like those other zombies wandered away. I'm tempted to close this door. Let's move the body just in case I need to close the door in a hurry. Peek. Nothing. Peek. Yeah, they got distracted by something and wandered off, so maybe I'm safe again? Maybe we'll get lucky. I would love to sleep in a basement, Callus Cat! <laughs> or Kaliska? Can't find one. Haven't found one yet. So we're gonna make do with the pantry of this house. Um, I would love to get a blanket and pillow to bring in here with me. Nine strength. I don't think I'd be able to pull a. Uh, bed section with nine strength. That zombie does not see me yet. Alright, I'm in the shadows. Theoretically. Even though it's not showing the shadow, which is kind of weird. Drag a couch. I cannot drag the couch. Can't drag the sofa section. Hey there, zombie. House is infested. Ah, oh, I left the backpack. I can't carry the stuff that I wanted to carry. <laughs> uh, I can't go that way because I will be spotted. Kind of funny moving through the house like this with them not knowing I'm here. Alright, 
Got the pillow and blanket. Can't grab the bed or the sofa. Kind of tempted to bring this zombie over here towards me. And kill it. Oh yeah, life stops helping tons. Sound of zero. <laughs> oh, there's sound of two. So, light step's definitely helping. Um, do I have something I can toss at him to get his attention? I can toss a canola seed, throw a pillow at him. Oh yeah, wear the wristwatch. Let's try throwing... Cardboard box. I think I missed. <laughs> um... Yeah, too many other things out there I don't want to get the attention of. How about if I just close this door? Is that loud enough? That should have been loud enough. Yep, that was loud enough. Come on, zombie. There you go. Die, fat zombie! Hopefully I don't have to worry about the uh, carrion stuff this quickly. Alright, so he's dead. Look, I've got a fireplace! <laughs> no way am I lighting a fire in here right now. Uh, can I grab a chair? Hey, I can grab a chair and it makes... 13 noise! That wasn't a good plan. Alright. Webcam focus! Focus, stupid webcam! <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. Every once in a while it gets stupid. Alright, what do we have down here? I don't remember if I looked. Oh yeah, ravioli, pickled veggies. Uh, let's go ahead and have some. Let's have... Ravioli's got 72 nutrition. That's pretty good. I don't think I need that much. Let's have... Um, it's four, but I have to open it now. I think I'm going to have the jar of pickled veggies. And that's it for now. And hold off on that. Hydration is going to be my current problem. Getting to the point, I think I'm safe in here now. Um, I'm going to risk closing the door. It's only 6.30. I don't think I'll be tired enough to sleep. And the cough syrup I've got, eh, actually it's regular cough syrup. I could get drowsy off of that. Uh, yeah, toilet water bonsai, but uh, I'm not drinking it without boiling it, and that's the issue. Let's... I'm tempted to just pass some time. I don't have anything I can do really until night falls. Then I want to creep around, check out these last couple of buildings, creep back if I can manage it, and then sleep. 
and then take off in the morning. That's that's the plan. So let's pass time. Uh, one hour. Heard a noise. Stop waiting. Yes. And somebody might be in the house. I'm gonna let them come to me. <laughs> Not gonna let me comfortably pass time because of the stuff creeping around in the area. Uh-oh! Northeast here, smash! Great. Now I'm gonna have a whole crap load of zombies pouring into the place. For no apparent reason. Yeah, I think they're going to come in on mass. I'm going to end up having a really game-ending fight right here. So I'm just going to let time pass as best I can. Let's do it this way. 30 minutes. Ignore. There we go. Now they're here. Stop waiting. Yes. Hey there, fat zombie. You going to finish breaking the door down? Come on. Break the door down. Yes, it's day one. <laughs> right there. Day one. We actually did a pretty good amount of traveling for our very first day, considering we're on rollerblades. Alright, doors down. Here comes Mr. Fat Zombie. Alright, damage wasn't too bad. No bites. Uh, let's butcher if we can. Ignore the noises in the other room. There's no longer a door to try to close, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, almost 1900. Let's do it again. 30 minutes. Ignore the sound. You see a shrieker. Well, that's not good news. If there was anything that I was going to be unhappy about showing up, Shrieker is definitely it. Can you see me yet? Yep, he knows I'm here. Alright, go kill him. Anything else going to come around the corner? I'm just busting up the uh, rest of the room. Oh, they're actually knocking the place down. Though we might have some big ones here. I might not have the option. Claws are definitely pretty awesome, comparatively. Standard zombie, shouldn't see me, he can't. Another standard zombie, I think I'm just going to try to take care of business. Um, I want you... Run mode please, I want you on the couch. There we go. Very nice. Matchbook, we'll grab. Doll, we'll unload. Those guys smashed up. Skeleton coming in. can't see me. <laughs> um, do I take it out or... Ooh, let's have some fresh rhubarb. Oh, now we're full. Sun's just about down. We're still doing pretty good. Light damage. Come here, skeleton. I, I want you to actually see me. There you go. Step right here. Perfect. Alright, so we're alive at night. We've got the house cleared. I'm not seeing any sign of anything. Back to walk mode. Get our stamina back. 
Let's take a drink of uh, take a drink of our fruit juice. Uh, Nah, actually, I think I'm going to wait. Alright, got our stamina back. It is now dark. Let's go investigate those other two buildings. Cola. Alright, visibility's pretty poor. <clears throat> Look at that. Security van. Operational, but it's got a security system that works. Yep, I could drive this thing away right now if it wasn't for that security system. I don't have a screwdriver yet, so hopefully we get one. Oh, handgun. Handgun! Oh, CX-4 Storm with no ammo. Uh, but it does take 9 mil. So I've got 9 mil ammo, so we might be able to ammo that thing up. Actually, let's do that right now. It's pretty important. Alright, inventory, storm, reload. Yes, there we go. We've got a 30 round CX-4 storm ready to go. Pistol caliber carbine designed for police use and civilian self-defense. Standard 9 mil. Good damage, 28 damage. So, we now have a gun. That makes me happy. Uh, anything else I'm going to need while I'm running around? Uh, pliers won't be useful. Crowbar might. Not going to use the flashlights. I think that's it. I think we've got things possibly turned around a bit. Now I'm just mad at the map. <laughs> Uh, if I can get a screwdriver, I've got a possibility of driving away in this security van. Um, it's possible I can get it started without, but uh, not likely. And the security system is going to make a lot of noise. 